Hey everyone, it's Pam. I mentioned a little while ago that I just moved at the beginning of January and my new apartment has a spot for a dedicated game room. So I thought that today I'd just give you a quick little tour of the game room itself along with a couple other areas in the apartment where games are stored. I'm going to focus mostly on how things are set up, the kinds of shelves we use, uh, what consoles are set up and how, as opposed to any particular collections or individual games. So I hope you enjoy. So let's go down the hall to the game room. I do have lights set up in here since the overhead lights kind of suck. So we'll just take a quick spin around before we take a closer look at anything. So now starting with the TVs and the consoles, we've got an LCD for the newer ones. We've got a frame meister so we can keep everything looking as good as possible and a skirt splitter so that we can keep everything hooked up and don't have to switch things in and out. The CRT is for the older things as well as anything that needs a light gun and we've got an AV splitter with that as well. Now onto the consoles, we've got a Wii U, an N64, 360, original Xbox, a Dreamcast, which is hooked up to a Toro, a Retron 5, a Turbo, and a PS3. Then over on the other side, we've got the PS1 and 2, the Saturn, and the GameCube. And these all live on Calic shelves from Ikea. So onto the first game shelves, and this is where all the Saturn stuff lives, along with some of the PS1. So all the bookcases that we have in the game room are Findies, and they're from Ikea. These shelves have positives and negatives to them. One of the positives is that they are super cheap. They only cost $40 each. One of the negatives is that they only come with five shelves, which means that there's sort of a lot of wasted space and the shelves are far too high for most uh, game cases. So what we had to do was buy extra Findies and cannibalize the extra shelves in each unit. Uh, that way we could have six shelves on most of them so we could display more games. Another disadvantage of these is that because of where the holes are drilled, this second shelf ends up being quite short. It can only fit the CD size cases or the NES cartridges as opposed to the bigger DVD or even uh, the bigger like Saturn cases. So that does mean that we have to put our smaller games on here which sort of breaks up the rest of the Saturn set as you can see. However, it ends up working okay, I think. Um, I sort of like the little bit of difference here. And uh, overall, uh, the Finbies aren't my favorite bookcase. My favorite bookcase is actually one in the living room that is super old and I don't even know what it is or where it's from, but the Finbies work okay. On to the next set of shelves. We've got some collector stuff up here, plus Funkos, which I hate. PS1 through PS3, the Turbo games, Saturn imports, uh, some of the Game Boy boxes, Wii and Wii U and GameCube. And this is just shelves with a bunch of toys and things. More terrible Funkos. Fester's Quest was signed by AVGN and Silent Service was signed by all the guys at RFGen when we went to Retro World Expo. This shelf houses the Xbox and Xbox 360, along with the Sega CD and some of the larger PS1 cases. Game Boy are up here, and the idea for displaying these came from the guys at My Life in Gaming. These are acrylic nail polish holders. And again, more toys, figurines, and a few more games, and we keep the Wii U pad down there. Again, this is a Calic shelf, and we also keep little drawers in them so we can just hide any extra wires or controllers, and they don't have to stay out and be an eyesore. And the last shelf has the Genesis. You'll notice there's a lot less than there were last time. The NES, also the Super Nintendo, the Nintendo 64, which games, who knows? They display terribly, uh, as well as the DS, 3DS, and PS Vita. And here is the controls for Steel Battalion, which takes up a lot of room. 
And one last thing I wanted to point out in here is this gaming chair. Will just picked it up recently and it's pretty cool. You can plug it in and then the sound will come out near your head. Now we'll take a quick trip to the living room and this is where all the newest consoles are. So in here we've got the big TV, the PS4 Pro, the Xbox One S, and the NES Classic. That has to sit on the coffee table when we play since the controller is so short. And this here is my favorite bookshelf on the right because it can just hold so many games. So up here we have all of the Xbox One and PS4 games and then any DVDs and Blu-rays and things that we have. And then looking quickly over to the left is the last gaming shelf, which doesn't have too many games on it. Uh, this is where I keep my big box PC games. Not a ton of them at this point. Um, I'm not really looking to get a ton of them, just, you know, maybe a dozen or so. So this collection is growing. And the one toy that I do like is my model of the Normandy. All right, that wraps up the game room tour. I hope you enjoyed. If you're interested in seeing videos on any particular collection for any particular console, let me know down in the comments and that's something I might do in the future. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the music in this video, you should go pay a visit to Banjo Guy Ollie who generously let me borrow it. There's also some links here to one of my other videos or my Patreon page. See you later!